Hey my sweet art students, welcome to art camp. You've already seen Miss Emily's video that talks to you about how to access um, the different days. So I was just gonna go ahead and kind of start with where you will start with me. I'm Miss Megan and I'm so excited that even with the craziness, we still get to have art camp and be together. So I hope you have lots of fun. You, um, as we go along, remember, you can do exactly what I do, copy my work exactly, that is fair game, or you can be creative and add different stuff to yours if you want to. You don't have to follow exactly with me, completely up to you. Um, remember, as you finish your projects, it would be really cool if your parents could take a picture of your work and you can post it on Facebook and you can tag the Samson Arts Council or you can comment below the videos and let us see the amazing work you've done because I know it's going to be beautiful. Um, so let's go ahead. So for our first project in my class, we are going to work on a piece of artwork inspired by Brito. And if you have a, um, a sheet in your box that gives you just a little bit of information about him, I have come to really love his work. He is a Brazilian artist, but he actually lives in Florida right now. He's still alive, so that's kind of cool when we're learning about art history to talk about somebody who is still alive and working and that you might could go see his work if you go on vacation. Um, he was born in 1963, and he grew up with eight brothers and sisters. The cool thing about him is when he was growing up, if he couldn't find paper, he would draw on anything and paint on anything. So if he found a cardboard box, he'd tear a piece and start painting. So think about that when you're home and you find something kind of cool that you're like, oh, I can make something out of that. Go ahead, try, because that's exactly what Brito did and look how far he's gone. Um, then I gave you some pictures of some work he's done. There's Brito in a couple of the pictures and if you kind of look at his work, you see that he has bright colors, he does a lot of black outlines, and he works a lot with shapes, so we're going to be talking about them more. He works a lot with pattern, so we're going to talk about that more. Um, and I thought since we are escaping into paradise this week, we would be inspired by Brito's fish. So that's what our painting is going to come from. So the first step for us is we are going to sketch out in the box that I gave you what our design is going to look like. And then we'll move that over or transfer it to our canvas. So that's our next step. Okay, so we're back on our paper that had Brito and I had left you a rectangle. So remember, we're talking about shapes. And a geometric shape can be things like a circle, a square, a hexagon, a rectangle. That's a geometric shape. So inside of this rectangle, we are going to practice drawing our fish that's inspired by Brito. And remember, you can, um, if you make a mistake, this is just our rough draft. So you are completely fine. Just erase if you need to even get another piece of paper, that's okay too. Okay, so here is how I start my fish. I'm going to start with another geometric shape. I'm going to start with a circle, or you could do an oval. So, kind of doesn't matter. kind of turns out on its own. So, let's, and I'm going to draw it nice and big. Nice and big. Look at that taking up my whole paper almost. That's not a perfect circle, but we're okay, because guess what? Fish are not perfect geometric shapes. All right, so that's the body of our fish. Now, I think it's fun to do really cute lips on the fish. So, think about the number three. So, I'm going to draw a big number three for his lips. Really big. We're going to make this a fun fish. All right. For his tail, look what I'm going to do now. In fact, I'm going to turn my paper so that you can see this easier. And we know our alphabet, so we are going to do a letter U. And then, inside of the U, we're going to make, 
I gotta make mine a little bigger. The letter V. And it connects both sides. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my paper back around. Now, this is where, for some of our older art students, this is where these simple shapes, you can, again, Brito used really simple shapes in his designs. Um, but if you want to make your fish a little bit more detailed, like, let me just sketch something up here. If you wanted to do more of a fish that's got a fancier tail or um, maybe... You go ahead and draw the lips like this. Whatever, however, if you want to make it a little bit more um, advanced, you can. This is where you can either follow exactly with me or you can be a little bit more creative. Completely, both ways work. Okay, so here is our fish. Now, for his eye, we're going to make a really big eye. So I'm going to draw another geometric shape, another circle. And I'm going to put another little circle inside. So there's his big eye. And then, pulling inspiration from Brito again, I'm going to divide my fish with a curved line. And now, if you want to add, since we had the lips, we don't need the smile, but we can start working on some patterns. So let's look at what a pattern is. It's when something repeats. So it could be a shape that repeats. It could be a color that repeats. It could be a line that repeats. When something repeats, it starts to make a pattern. So we drew our fish in our box. We added some details. That was the line and the eye. Now we're gonna add some patterns to the fish like Brito did. So you can kind of decide, this is where, in fact, you can even pause this video and you can decide where you want to add patterns and what kind of patterns do you want to add. So do you want to make, um, I might make lines in this part of his body. I might do some polka dots in this part of his body. I might leave this part one solid color just because I like it. And I probably will just do his lips in a fun color. So I probably won't do anything there. So again, if you wanna make it just like this, you can. If you wanna pause the video right now and kind of look around your house and see what kind of patterns do you see. Um, you could add whatever you want to. When I look around my house right now, I see bricks. So I could make a brick pattern in part of it. Um, remember, we are painting this, so you've got to draw your patterns nice and big so that it doesn't make it difficult to paint because in your box, you've only got one size brush. So just keep that in mind. So go ahead, pause the video, finish your fish, and then we're going to move that over to our canvas. Okay guys, so you just finished drawing out your brainstorming for your fish. And now you need to look in your art box and you're gonna get out your canvas. So get out the flat canvas and you're gonna need to find a pencil from your house. And when we, before we even start to draw this, remember we have a paintbrush that's kind of big. So let's make sure that we really fill up this canvas with our fish. He's the most important part. So let's go ahead and take our time. And if you wanna watch me, you can. If you wanna work with me at the same time, you can do that too. So I'm looking back at my drawing, my sketch, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with that really big circle that I had made. Guess what? If you mess up, you just erase. You can erase on canvas just erase your mistakes. If you're looking at that and you don't really like that circle, then go back and fix it. That's what I do. All right, so let's get the body of our fish going. Erase the lines you don't like. Okay, so there's the body of our fish. Don't worry about if you still can see mistakes cause we're gonna paint right over that. 
All right, so remember our next step with our fish was to draw his lips. And remember, that's like a big number three. All right, remember, I'm gonna turn my paper because it's easier. And the next step is to draw his fin. So I'm gonna make a really big letter U. And I'm gonna connect it with the letter V. Now, let me go back and look at my sketch. What else did I have on there? Okay, I had a really big eye. What kind of shapes were these again? Geometric shapes. Then I had a curve line separating his body. Then I had my patterns. So I had circles. And I had stripes. Okay, there's my fish, and it looks like my sketch. Now, let's add, looking back at Brito's work, remember how he had waves. So, why don't we add some waves to the top since we have a little bit of space left. And here's how we can make some waves. Letter U. So, we're going to draw the letter U, the letter U, the letter U. You got it. You know how to do this. Okay, then if you wanted to at the bottom, just because I have some space down here, I could draw some seaweed if I wanted to. So I can draw seaweed just a little wavy line. And seaweed can be different sizes. Hopefully you've been to the beach lately. Now, you can decide. That looks like plenty to me, but if you want to add more seaweed, you can. Just don't go crazy because remember, we're gonna paint this. So, we're gonna have to paint in between these little spots with our big brush. So, keep that in mind. Okay, so that is it for day one. We're ready tomorrow to go ahead and start painting our um, canvas. And remember who this is inspired by so that you can tell your parents if you ever, you know, one day I was in Walmart and I saw a book bag that was Brito's artwork. So you'll be able to recognize it. So just remember, we're doing a Brito inspired fish. All right, see you tomorrow.